The Palestinian Authority is a Trojan horse, actually much worse than a Trojan horse, and our Defense Minister Gallant, together with Gantz and Eisenstock, are betraying the Israeli people, our holy IDF soldiers, and the government by working together with the Biden administration to have the Palestinian Authority take over for Hamas in Gaza. We have IDF soldiers and families of fallen IDF soldiers now feeling abandoned and betrayed. Our lives are being sacrificed to fight and die killing, defeating Hamas so that other terrorists will take over for them? No way! No way over our dead bodies! That is evil! As Prime Minister Netanyahu said yesterday himself, we are not fighting this war to replace Hamastan with Fatahstan, Fatah being the terrorist group that runs the Palestinian Authority. So now let me explain to you why the Palestinian Authority is worse than a Trojan horse. Many of us are familiar, familiar with the story of the Trojan horse that the Greek army left on the beach of Troy as they sailed off after failing to defeat Troy in war and admitting defeat. The Trojans in the city of Troy then brought the large wooden horse into their city of Troy, thinking that it was some sort of peace offering. And then in the middle of the night, Greek soldiers who were hiding in this wooden Trojan horse climbed out of the large wooden horse, surprised the Trojans, destroyed the city, and defeated Troy in the war. Right now, the Biden administration is trying to force Israel to accept an end to the Gaza war by allowing the Palestinian Authority to be given control of Gaza. However, Netanyahu and the majority of the Jewish people in Israel will never allow it because we know that the Palestinian Authority is a terror organization that supports terror. It pays terrorists and their families. It educates its children to commit murder and kill Jews. The, they participated in October 7th massacre and they want to do more October 7th massacres in Judea and Samaria, like these beautiful hills. Letting the Palestinian Authority have control in Gaza is like a Trojan horse, allowing them to then terrorize us from Gaza instead of Hamas. So why is the Palestinian Authority worse than a Trojan horse? Because at least in Troy, the Trojans were deceived, thinking that the Greeks sailed off and left a statue of a wooden horse not leaving soldiers to attack them, hiding inside the horse to then attack Troy City from the inside of the walls. Today, the whole world knows that the Palestinian Authority supports terror, and yet it still wants to treat it like a peace partner and give it control of Gaza, despite the Israeli government, Netanyahu, and the Israeli people being against this disastrous terror-supporting idea. And how do we know that the Biden administration and the world knows that the Palestinian Authority supports terror? Because the United States has a law called the Taylor Force Act that forbids the United States government from giving money to the Palestinian Authority so long as it pays terrorists, which it does. So the U.S. can't give it money according to U.S. law. This is the evil situation and the evil Biden administration that we Jews in Israel have to deal with. But don't worry we will overcome. The important thing is that the Jewish people in Israel are waking up to this reality, that the Biden administration, and that even those within our own senior IDF and intelligence leadership, and those at the top of the intelligence and IDF, like Gallant, our defense minister, are ignoring reality, and that ultimately it is up to us to stand up for our rights for proper security in our ancestral homeland, to ensure a safe future for all Israeli citizens here in this beautiful land of Israel. The state of Jews with trembling knees is long gone. We are a strong and proud people reclaiming our identity and standing up for ourselves, despite the tremendous pressure from our allies in the world who are helping our enemies. The time of the Jewish people in Israel constantly appeasing our enemies because of pressure from our friends in the world, it's over. We, the Jewish people, are back as sovereign in our ancestral homeland, this beautiful, beautiful homeland where the Bible took place. The modern state of Israel is the third Jewish commonwealth in the land of Israel. We were here under King David and King Solomon during first temple times, then back again during second temple times, and now we are back again, 76 years young for the modern Jewish state of Israel, but for 3,000 plus years old. I'm Yisrael Chai, folks. And if you are not yet a subscriber to my Pulse of Israel videos, go to PulseofIsrael.com and click to subscribe. These are short videos, and then you get longer videos with even more content. 
and going more deeper into issues and interviews and everything. So go to PulseVisual.com and click the subscribe. If you like these videos, you want to help us make more and get them seen by more people, click on the donate button every once in a while. In the meantime, signing off from the beautiful ancestral homeland of the Jewish people, the biblical indigenous land of Israel. Shalom, everyone, and thanks for watching. Pulse of Israel on frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.